going on to you Aries there's a link in the comment section below called the Linktree link click on it it will redirect you to a website where there's ways you can support me so I can most definitely keep the channel going uh, would appreciate it if you would all right uh, I offer private tarot readings birth chart readings I teach you how to do the tarot um, the books that are on my Amazon page thank you in advance so for you Aries you have the page of cups the four of wands and the page of pentacles so <sighs> some of you Aries are not necessarily seeing someone very clearly and what I mean by that is you Aries may be in a little bit of a problem when it comes to getting to know somebody else because they're giving you a hard time the four of wands is what it is that you are looking for and what you know you would want when you are in a relationship but the page of cups represents the delusion that some of you aries may be up underneath and i know it sounds harsh but it is supposed to be harsh and the reason why is because i'm just telling you like it is right as it is that i interpret i see it right you're looking at them incorrectly they're the page of pentacles they are they are they're waiting on you to trick off on either side they it don't really matter because both sides are tricking to be honest with you regardless of whatever you are into they're waiting on you to give them everything or give them a whole lot um but they're not really going to give much to you maybe some romantic fun but it's i don't care how good the romantic fun is it's, it it's not equating to money in my perspective right but they're, but the, all it is that they think is, is that they just think that they just need to stand next to you. So some of you may be getting to know this person. There's an emphasis on why you need to cut them off. There's your why. You're hanging around them right now, and they're not really doing a whole lot for you. They're not reciprocating at all. They're looking for you, Aries, to give them, to give them what they want. But they're expecting you to figure it out, right? Which is tricking off the regular degular stuff that most people are so caught up in which is just tricking off they want you to just give them everything buy them a birkin or buy them a gucci you know a gucci track suit and all this other type of goofy stuff the eight of uh swords and the begging yo bombs <laughs> the eight of the eight of swords and the page of swords is about how so if you Aries are looking for a potential relationship from this person, I'm sorry to tell you, but I just want to let you know it's not going to work out between them. They are caught up in the transaction. They're looking for a trick. They're looking for... See, the reason why it is that it's called tricking is you give them whatever it is that you can offer them. Whatever it is that you want to buy or give to them, you give them whatever it is that you want to give. That's why it is that you have people out here just standing next to other people to get what it is that they're trying to get that's why it is that they'll get bags and hand purses and gucci track suits and they'll get muscles they'll go to the gym and they'll do this they'll do that the reason why is because they want other people to trick off on them aries on on either side honestly because real talk both sides do it equally trick off that is regardless of whatever you into going to the going to the to the club if you know what i mean it's tricking uh you know doing all this other stuff the same thing and why i'm saying that is because that's the mentality that this person has they're not offering they're not trying to offer you you great aries anything they're trying to stand around you and see what it is that you can give to them, what you can sneak into their pocket. And the Eight of Swords and the Page of Swords now represents how some of them may even have told you that candidly, that this is what it is that they're looking for. So there was some sort of disagreement that happened where they really showed you their real colors, how combative and how disrespectful and how off their rocker they are in the sense that they are telling you look you need to contribute to me i'm not doing anything for you <laughs> or, or maybe there was a discussion where 
you telling them, hey, can you do this for me or whatever the case may be? And they're, they're keeping score. Why I got to do that? Why can't you do that? Keeping score. The four of pentacles now and the nine of pentacles are all about how since that's the case, a lot of you Aries see it for what it is. And those people ultimately, real talk though, Aries, they're really setting themselves up for failure because you Aries really cared for them. You were, you were trying to get to know them. You're looking for someone for you to be able to get to know romantically, long term. And they played themselves because the Four of Pentacles is, is that you thought it was fair and square. But the way that they are coming at you, like I said, it's transactional. It's all about you need to pay me to lose weight, pay me to wear makeup, pay me to put on muscles. No, not really. But pay me to put on to lose weight, put, pay me to, to, to take off the makeup, pay me to do this, pay me to do that, pay me to, to do this. You need to pay me, 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 pay me. If you want to be hang, if you want to hang out with me, pay me. And I can't explain to you how many people have that mentality. Trying to get other people to trick off. They talking about, I'll hang out with you if you want. What do you mean hang out with me? <laughs> you know? I've 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 been in that I've been in those conversations where people are like, I'll hang out with you if you want. I'm like, what do you mean hang out with me? Because I'm not I'm not trying to I I'm good by myself. Like I don't want you to hang out with me if you ain't trying to hang out. Like what are we talking about right now? But they're letting me know that they're for sale. Same thing with this individual, right? And the nine of pentacles now represents they're setting themselves up for failure. Because they're missing one component with that. The, the one component that they're missing with that is you Aries don't need them. So that's the end of the conversation between the two of you. The star card and the reason why to skip over two cards after the nine of pentacles is the eight of cups. You ultimately ended up walking away from them. You showed them from your own actions, you don't need them around. You weren't trying to talk to them, to, you know what I'm saying, to have them put themselves out there on the stroll to start trying to get you to pay for things that, that you know what I mean? You, the, the star card and, and the wheel of fortune, star card, you wanted a relationship. You, this per, you know what I'm saying? Like this person is keeping score and doing all this goofy stuff. And then you have the wheel of fortune. This person played themselves because they're now back out there on the stroll, do, trying to do the very same thing. To, they're in the rat race. They're in the rat race of, some people are in the rat race of a nine to five. Some people are in the rat race of like, their personal bad habits. Some people are in the rat race in going from house to house, door to door, if you catch my drift, trying to get in good with the people who live there, if you catch my drift, and then trying to see what the person can, you know, what crumbs the person can essentially drop on the floor. You know, what kind of, what kind of loose change that could fall out of the person's pocket so that they can grift off of. This is how goofy it is. All because of laziness. And it's like, but if you put this much effort into having a job and staying out of trouble and investing the way that you do, trying to convince people that you like them like a like a like a person who's for sale that you are, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't have to stoop down to such a level to go to house to house to house to house tricking people trying to get people so caught up into the games i love you and all this goofy stuff you would be a little bit more straightforward and honest about who you are and where you where you're going and what you are about you can actually tell people straight to their face how you truly feel without it ruining your bag because you being cool with them does not you know what I'm saying? It does not make an impact on whether the person will buy you a Birkin or whatever. This is the type of stupidity that we have out here, Aries. And both sides are doing it. Because both sides, 
And as uh, statistics, both sides do it just as much as the other side, equally. So let's clarify the Eight of Cups. I ain't even gonna say anything. The Ace of Pentacles, the Death card, the, the uh, Strength, the Six of Swords, and last but not least, we have the Seven of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles and the Death card. Here, they talking about whenever it is that you change your mind, come back and talk to them. Or whenever it is that you get some more money because you broke. You know, everybody's always talking about who's broke and who's not. It's like, stop talking about who's broke and who's not. You don't know what it is that anybody has in their bag. But the Ace of Pentacles represents, this is what it is that they're saying to you. And it just makes them look even worse. The Strength and the Six of Swords, you know you're not coming back to them. <laughs> the Seven of, of Cups, and here they are carrying their goofy behinds somewhere else with the same rotten habits trying to get another person to dig in their pocket so that they so that they can grift off of the the loose spare change that falls out of their pocket whether it's a gucci bag or a louis vuitton purse or a track suit or you know what i'm saying giving a man a cell phone do you know how many people are tricking tricking off on different levels love is an anthema to tricking. 